Hello everyone. Climate change is linked to all aspects of our life today, even to the things that are private and personal like periods. You may be wondering how menstruation is related to climate change and how personal hygiene could be a contributor to climate change. I get it. I thought so too. Hello, I am Rajasi and I will connect menstruation, health and environment. Menstruation is a topic that is not discussed openly. Even friends use code words while talking about it. There is so much hush hush around this topic that we never really discuss our issues, uh, what practices we follow, what products we use, uh, hygienic ways to use them and to dispose them. As if this was not enough, the companies advertising disposable products talk about how they are convenient, comfortable and discreet to use. By doing this, we are talking about hiding the flow, which in turn adds to the silence related to this topic. Though these products are meant to hide the flow, the waste generated by these products, the blocking of the drains due to poor disposal and the sickening odor that can't be hidden. In India, there is currently no standardized mechanism for disposal of these products. Let's have a look at these photos. Looks familiar, right? We love convenient, comfortable products. Who doesn't? But what is the cost that we pay when it comes to our health, environment, just because of our convenience? Are we aware of the cost sanitation workers pay due to our ignorance and poor disposal practices? You may wonder what difference just one person's actions can make. But if we look at collective figures, then it's a huge number. It's estimated that a single menstruator will use around 10,000 disposable products in a lifetime. According to the NFHS, 58% of the menstruators across India use disposable products to manage their periods. Another data from MHAI says that 121 million women in India use sanitary napkins. If we consider that a person uses approximately 8 sanitary pads per, per month, India has 12.3 billion disposable sanitary pads to take care of every year and majority of them are not biodegradable or compostable. These pads are most of the times unsegregated and thrown mixed with other waste. After, le after reaching landfills, they keep leaching chemicals. Due to high plastic content, they will stay there for 500 to 800 years. The pads contain super absorbent polymer, hence they don't disc decompose. Instead, they will break down into small pieces of plastic, which are also referred to as microplastics, and they will continue to contaminate the soil, air, water, and eventually enter our food chain as well. The pads, yes, the pads will be the legacy that we will leave behind for many generations after us. Yes, this is how we will be remembered. This colossal waste burden, however, isn't the only ecological impact of disposable menstrual hygiene products. A life cycle assessment of tampons was conducted by Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. They found out that large impact on global warming was caused by processing of low-density polyethylene, and it's been used in sanitary napkins and tampons. One finding that struck me is annually a menstruator contributes to 5.3 kg of carbon dioxide when they choose disposable products. But with reusable products, the emissions are negligible. According to several research studies done by Women's Voices for Earth, these menstrual products contain harmful chemicals like acetone, parabens, formaldehyde, styrene, chlorine, plastic, etc. which makes it harmful not just for environment but our own body too. I don't think any of these substances should get anywhere near our most sensitive part of the body. In some areas in India, these pads are burnt openly or through low quality incinerators which release toxic fumes and dioxins in the air. These chemicals are known to harm our skin and reproductive health. So, the easiest way to manage our waste 
is to not produce it. India has an opportunity to take an alternative path focused on reduction rather than management of created sanitary waste. Hence, I am proposing reusable menstrual products like menstrual cups and cloth pads and period panties that hardly contain any chemicals or plastics and can be reused for many many years. They don't create any waste every month and thus save, and thus save thousands of disposable pads or tampons from going to the landfill. This will also reduce burden on our disposable, disposal system and also help waste collectors lead a dignified life. They are not only eco-friendly but toxins free, easy on your pocket and gentle on your skin. Cloth pads. Cloth pads are a modern and manageable version of traditionally used cloth. They are colorful and cute. Believe me, you will find them cute. They are available in different sizes and can be customized too, unlike the sanitary pads that come in standardized sizes. Using cloth is very sustainable since there is zero investment and it's always available at home. For years, it's been told how using cloth is dirty. But let me tell you something. It's not the product that determines if it's unhygienic. It's the practices. Menstrual cups are collecting devices which form a seal when worn inside the vagina. They can collect flow up to 12 hours and can be reused for at least 10 years of our life. Cups are easy to use and take around 2 to 3 cycles to get used to it. There's a learning curve involved in that. Uh, once a woman gets used to it, they don't feel it at all. They are harmless and make different activities like swimming, running, very enjoyable. One is saved from rashes and allergies since you don't expose your body to harmful chemicals. These products are leak proof, so no more asking someone to check on your backside. They are easy to use and require no monthly trips to medical stores. I request everyone to give this a thought and not, look, uh, and not just look at the eco-friendliness of these reusable products. Think of the cost of convenience and make informed choices. There are plenty of organizations and individuals working to spread information, spread awareness on this topic. And one such pan-India movement is Green the Red. You can check the website and social media for getting details about sustainable menstruation. I believe each and every individual can make a difference. I started with shifting to reusable products to myself and you can start by yourself. Give these reusable products a try and I am sure you will love them. They will not disappoint you. In the last 7 years of making the switch, I have used, this, uh, I have used disposable products for just 2-3 to three times. And I realized what I missed when I used disposable products. The comfort, the rash free skin was completely unexpected for me. I request every menstruator to own your body. Take charge and make informed, healthy and eco-conscious choices. Make yourself a priority and do ample research about products that you use. Lastly, I would like to say that it's our responsibility to keep our home, that is our earth, healthy and safe while doing it for ourselves. Because what goes around comes around. Thank you.